So let's have a look at the paint for wood and metalwork. As you can see, there's a few different options here. But before you actually paint with the gloss paints, you need to think about the preparation products. First off, if you're going on a bare timber, or indeed bare metal, you will need a primer. What does a primer do? It sinks in, gets a grip on the surface, and allows the paint to sit onto that surface quite well. Then the next stage is the undercoat. The undercoat actually gives you the body of the paint. And in some cases where you're going from one real extreme colour to the next, the undercoat gives you a good staging post, so the end result looks perfect. So that's the primer and the undercoat out of the way. Let's have a look at the conventional gloss finishes. Traditionally, we use a liquid gloss. This is the trade gloss or the initial sort of gloss that was available from a long while ago. But it can be a little bit difficult to apply if you're not used to painting. So therefore, we introduced for a DIY user the non-drip version. Now that's a jelly sort of paint and as you can see doesn't run in the same way as perhaps a liquid system would do. That's easy to paint with but you also have different sort of finishes for example a one coat which has got a lot of pigment in it which gives you good opacity or obliteration power for the paint and that actually goes on in one application without the need for an undercoat. We also have non-drip satins and non-drip mattes and don't forget it's also available in colours as well. So that's your gloss finishes, which actually finish off a room perfectly.